Hello, I'm Andrew Isaacs with BlabberBuzz News. Here are the headlines for May 25th. Our top story today, Republican Representative Anna Paulina Luna from Florida has introduced a resolution that aims to impose a $16 million fine on Democratic Representative Adam Schiff from California. Luna's resolution is a response to Schiff's claims that former President Donald Trump colluded with Russia to win the 2016 election. According to Luna, Schiff abused his position as chair of the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence and misled the American people. The resolution condemns Schiff's conduct and calls for him to be held accountable for his actions. Luna's resolution also highlights Schiff's support for the Steele dossier and his public accusations against Trump aide Carter Page. Schiff, who is currently running for the Senate, has responded by characterizing the resolution as payback for his efforts to hold Trump accountable. In other news, a tragic incident in Baltimore, Maryland has left a family devastated. Let's get the details. In a heartbreaking incident, Christopher Wright, a 43-year-old father of three, died after being brutally beaten by a group of men outside his home. Wright was trying to protect his children from a gang that had come to settle a fight that started at school. The attack resulted in severe injuries, including a traumatic brain injury, and despite being taken to the hospital, Wright passed away the following day. Tracy Korupchinsky, Wright's fiance, expressed shock at the extent of his injuries, suggesting that the gang did more than just engage in a fistfight. Karopchinsky emphasized the need for parents to take responsibility for addressing the escalating levels of violence in society. The authorities are investigating the incident, but as of now, no charges have been filed against those involved. Now turning to a controversial report that has sparked outrage and accusations of bias. Let's delve into the details. A report published by Vanity Fair has drawn significant criticism for drawing an inflammatory parallel between Elon Musk, CEO of Twitter, and David Duke, the former leader of the Ku Klux Klan. The article, written by Bess Levin, suggested that Republican Governor Ron DeSantis was planning to launch his 2024 presidential campaign in collaboration with Elon Musk due to the alleged unavailability of other neo-Nazi sympathizers. Levin's inference that Musk might harbor neo-Nazi sympathies was based on claims of increased hate speech on Twitter following Musk's involvement. However, the article received more attention for its perceived bias than for its substance, leading to widespread backlash online. Critics argue that the comparison made in the article is not only bad journalism, but outright slander. Some have called for a denouncement of such reporting. David Sachs, co-founder of Kraft Ventures, criticized the media's approach, while Musk responded with a humorous comment, likening the article to satire. This controversy raises questions about the role of responsible journalism and the boundaries of fair reporting. That concludes our news coverage for today. I'm Andrew Isaacs. Stay informed and engaged by checking our app and website for further updates on these stories and more. Remember, like freedom, truth rings.